One of the top films that premiered during the 11th Polish Film Festival Los Angeles was from acclaimed Polish producer and director Marusz Kotowski with his psychological thriller Deeper and Deeper. Deeper and Deeper stars Emmy Award winning actor David Lago from the popular CBS soap opera The Young and the Restless. I gotta tell you, my family is gonna be jealous. The premiere of Deeper and Deeper was a great success for both the filmmakers and the festival. Now let the movies begin. Enjoy the screen. My experience at, uh, in Los Angeles for the premiere of Deeper and Deeper was uh, very uh, exciting, all the way from meeting people prior to the movies, being out in the lobby, uh, meeting people who worked on the film that I never had an opportunity to see as the composer because I always get the film after everybody's gone. Um, so it was exciting to see all the people that used their craft on the film. Well, the, the premiere in L.A. was just absolutely great because I had always gone to the Sunset Five Theater when I lived there and I just absolutely loved that theater. So it was a real joy for me to have, have the premiere um, at the Sunset Five. I was nervous as a cat because I, as a cinematographer, because I had not yet seen the footage. and. Uh, I was really pleasantly surprised when we sat in the theater and, 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 and saw it because we went what we were going for. We got it. Um, the austereness of uh, Ryan's, uh, you know, focus, his obsession. You know, there there was no life in 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 his life except what was through that lens. And I think when the whole th being that the whole thing was cut, it was really well edited, and um, it, the story really came through. Uh, just like Mariusz and, uh, and I had discussed. Seeing Deeper and Deeper on the big screen was really interesting because I had seen the film before and I just hadn't seen it on the big screen and I really think it plays well on a large screen. Obviously as a composer when you're sitting in an, an auditorium you can't ever uh, duplicate in your own studio what the music's going to sound like or the sound effects are going to sound like just because you don't have that kind of equipment sitting in your studio. So listening to it in the theater was very exciting. I was, it drew me in. It drew me in and uh, I had to sort of fight with myself and say, and say I don't want to remember the production part of it but get into the story and uh, I found myself after just a very few scenes being able to, to completely forget about production and being pulled into the story uh, being told uh, uh, about these people. I purposely would try and catch the audience every once in a while, especially knowing what scenes were coming up and uh, uh, mostly the scenes that I thought were effective with the music to add certain elements to the, uh, to the emotion of the film. I think the audience really received the film very well. There were some people that immediately when the film was, was over were, um, were very complimentary of the film and they, they could tell that they wanted more to happen, you know, that well, what's going to happen now to the guy, you know, and, and so that's always a good sign when they want more, they want to learn more about the characters. The audience responded so positively. When, when we sit up in front of the, um, the crowd to do our Q&A, um, you know, that rousing applause and really just you know, genuine uh, sincerity. I know that we had, I had several people stop me in the lobby and, and, and discuss their, their favorite points. And so I, I very much feel like we got a, we got a great reception. I was... I can see you
just like queen.